This unusual superhero was once a confrontational Gotham talk show host. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be exploring the origins of Jack Ryder, otherwise known as the Creeper. And now the weather. Partly gaga with a 50% chance of schizophrenia. <laughs> As with most comic book characters, there are often reimaginings and different versions to a character's past. We have chosen to primarily follow the storyline which unfolded in 1968's Showcase Comics number 73, which was expanded upon in 2006's The Creeper number 1. In his first comic book appearance, readers were introduced to Jack Ryder, an arrogant and argumentative TV show host. During one fateful interview, Jack showcased his infamous disdain for the opinion of others, not realizing that his guest was a friend of the show's sponsor. Refusing to give an apology, Jack was fired and stormed off before being approached by the chief of network security. Recognizing Jack's grit and extensive investigative background, he offered him a job in network security. On his first assignment, Jack was tasked with finding a communist agent working in the criminal underworld and finding a kidnapped scientist. Tipped off about a criminal costume party, Jack went shopping for a disguise. Given a deal on a box of leftover costume pieces, Jack put together a ragtag yellow costume in an alleyway. Although he had no mask, Jack wore makeup and a green wig. What about the boa? Too much? Not for you, baby. I want to strike terror into the hearts of criminals. Cash or plastic? Plastic! <laughs> ha, funny. When Jack arrived at the party and realized that it was invite only, he decided to sneak in through an open window. As the criminals he was after were wearing costumes as well, Jack had to find a clue in order to reveal their identities. However, when the security guards noticed him and his outrageous costume that they surely would have remembered letting in, they jumped him. While Jack managed to subdue his attackers, he was stabbed during the fight. Luckily, during the commotion, one of the goons had been thrown through a secret door that revealed a hidden staircase. Following the stairs, Jack stumbled upon the scientist that he was looking for. With Jack bleeding out, the scientist sprung to save him, revealing that he had been captured for his medical and technological breakthroughs. Wishing his life work to not fall into the wrong hands, the scientist injected Jack with a special healing serum and placed a small device inside of his wound. As the scientist hastily explained, with the help of a handheld button, the device that was now in Jack's body could rearrange the molecules of his clothing, allowing him to switch in and out of his costume in a flash. The scientist then began to burn the lab. It was then that one of the knocked out goons awakened and fired his gun into the building smoke, killing the scientist. Jack then knocked out the henchman, discovering that the serum had then given him super strength as well. With more goons on the way, Jack made a beeline for the exit. The criminals gave chase, wishing to silence Jack before he could contact the cops. Once outside, he used his new powers to transition back into his normal clothes. Jack then returned to the scene of the crime, where the criminal partygoers were playing the victim to the cops who had just arrived. Realizing that the police were buying the gangster's story and would leave before uncovering the truth, Jack switched back into costume and snuck back into the house in order to flush the remaining criminals out of the secret room and make the police take a second look. Taking on the name that the criminals had been calling him, the Creeper fought his way through a small army of goons and then quickly switched back to his normal clothes in order to tip off the police and get away free. We don't know nothing about no Joker, Creep. Creep? Creep? I like it. My new name, the Creep. No way, too negative. I have it! I am, drum roll please. Hey! I am the Creeper! In response to this massive blow to their organization, the criminal underworld placed a bounty on the Creeper's head, forcing further confrontations. An unusual superhero, the Creeper has appeared in various media, including the new Batman adventures. He was also retconned to have been drugged by the criminals and shot to death only to be revived. This event caused him to lose part of his sanity, making him more irrational and fearsome, complete with split personalities that separated his two identities. Are you a fan of this unusual hero? For more comic book origins published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Okay, I love you, bye-bye!